hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to be going over uh, this video actually marks the beginning of a new project that you're going project series that you're going to be building so in this series you're going to be going over how to build a simple to do app using uh, mongodb and fast api so the main aim is just to help you to understand how to integrate your first uh, your flask application to your mongo uh, mongodb database and to do this we'll simply build a simple app uh, which is just a to do app which is just basically like a hello world in uh, uh, web development right so i'm uh, just going to build a simple to do app using first api uh, flask and uh, mongodb okay so let's get started so this is mongodb right here i'm going to be using Mon mongodb atlas and also going to be using a uh, flask uh, which is going to be which is a python library for uh like develop web development okay so let's get started so let me just show you the application that you're going to be building okay so right now again okay, this is the front page of our application right now i have no to do so that's why it's completely blank so if i quick click on add it brings me to this form so i can just go and add anything maybe let's say get breakfast and then you can see that uh completed we didn't complete it and then you can say get uh breakfast uh, with tea or something with tea and uh, coffee okay just something random and then i'm simply going to click on this button and if i click on this i get this new nice alert you're going to be using a, a sweet alert js library so you don't have to worry about this it's really very simple to implement so if i just click ok now you can see i have that to do right there so i can delete this to do and i can also update it so if i click on update and i change this one to be completed to be true and then whenever i click on add you can see now uh we have a line through that get a uh, breakfast that shows that it has been completed so if i go back and change this to be false again and it's update this you can see now we do not have that line right there and you can also go ahead and actually delete this to do so this is a very simple application that we'll be creating and we'll be creating this application using uh mongodb and uh mongodb using mongodb for the, the back end uh, database and you'll be using flask uh, framework for the uh, interface so you can see this uh, uh, our, our, our database and you can see this uh, data that has been stored in the, our mongodb database which is just a to do that you have created so if i can even go here i can also delete this i can get this one has been deleted so if i go back to my atlas here and i try to come back to index here this should now you can see now uh, we don't have any any uh, any uh, document there so we're going to be going over this and it's very simple application that you're going to be building using fast api and uh, sorry using uh using uh flask and uh, uh mongodb database for the back end uh, for the uh, database so that's basically it for the application so in this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and actually set, set up the development environment so that in the next tutorial we can begin uh, actually to code so this is a uh, i've already made a document a readme uh, uh, dot, uh, markdown file in my github page and it has all the instructions on how to get this set up so the first thing we're going to do is first we're going to create a main folder called the uh, flask mongodb so let me just jump into my terminal and then create that so you can use anything you want uh, i'm just going to stop the current flask application and then i'm going to change my di directory to my desktop uh, okay so i'm in my desktop or you can just navigate to wherever you want to create the application so let me just make this bigger so that you guys can see sorry i'll make this bigger and then try to zoom in so that you guys could see okay great so i'm just going to clear the terminal right there and i'm going to come in my desktop right now i'm simply going to create a folder in there called uh, uh called um, flask mongodb so feel free to use anything you want you can use your ui i'm just comfortable using the terminal so i'll go with the terminal okay so i'm just going to make a md and i'm going to call it uh flask mongo uh, db okay and it's going to create that and i'm going to change the my directory i'm going to more move into my that directory so you can see right now i have nothing instead of that folder okay so we just create an empty folder called flask mongo db okay so that's the first step that uh, it's here so now the second step is to create our virtual environment so for those guys who are on linux uh, this is a command linux and mac and then for windows this is your command okay so i'm just going to copy this uh for mac for windows you need to customize this for your, that your own needs but for mac and linux you can just go ahead and actually paste that in the terminal so i'm just going to open up the terminal and then make sure i paste that right there and this is going to create for me that virtual environment okay if you're on, on linux and uh, or, or, or macbook and you're getting an error you can just change this into python 3 okay so put python 3 right there okay great so for windows users again the command is there you can just follow along with that command and modify it to your needs okay so now after that we have created a, a virtual environment now we need to activate the virtual environment okay so i'm just going to go ahead and actually activate my virtual environment so you can see that i have been running flask up the application on this virtual environment so i'm going to just going to deactivate that so i'm going to go 
deactivate and then I'd like to deactivate my virtual environment. So now you can see that my, this is my terminal right here. So in your case, your virtual environment does not activate it, so you don't have to do the previous step, okay? So I'm just going to paste the uh, command that I have copied and I'm going to activate my virtual environment. Now you can see my virtual environment here is right activated. So I got my virtual environment V, E, and V, so let me just bring back. So this uh, must be the same, but uh, this you can change it to anything you want. I called my V and V. That's why I have to say here, source V, E, and V, first slash bin, first slash activate, okay? I hope you're familiar with the basics of python virtual environment so now that we have that let's go and look what we need to do next so we need to install this couple of libraries so we're using flask uh flask mong, uh, flask uh, hyphen mongo pi mongo and also we'll be using uh flask uh, wta for uh flask forms okay so they are using the uh pi mongo uh, for, for uh, library that uh is customized to flask application so that is called a uh, flask a hyphen mongo a uh, pi mongo and also be using the flask wta for uh, forms and uh yeah that's basically it so now that we have that you also need to install this okay so in here i forgot to keep the code so make sure that you keep the closing code right there so i'm just going to keep that closing code and then you need to install this for uh, that to work so now that we have that every, we are now set to go so let's go ahead and actually create the the project directory that you are pro what you're going to be using so our uh, root project directory is a, is a flask mongodb which is an empty folder that you've just created now instead of that folder we have venv which is a virtual environment that you have just created and then let me just go back the table and then show you so if i do it as you can see i have only one folder in there called venv and that venv is a virtual environment here so let's create this folder called application and this folder will have these uh sub folders and uh, files okay so let me just go back into my terminal i'm going to create the first one so i'm going to uh create a uh, fold, uh, fold, uh, folder here i'm going to do mk directory i'm going to call it application okay so if i do now do an ls you can see i have two folders in there now in our applications folder you're going to have one subfolder called template so let's go ahead and actually create that so i'm going to, going to do uh sorry mk dir and i'm going to call it uh templates okay so uh, make sure i press enter now if i do ls you can see uh sorry i actually made a mistake this template is supposed to be inside of this application so i'm just going to uh case uh, templates and then just make sure i delete that so if i do an ls you can see i have only two uh, folders in the main direct and the root directory so i'm going to change my directory into my applications folder and instead of my applications folder i'm going to now going to create that folder called templates so i'm just going to uh run that command again so inside of here i have a folder called templates great so in inside of there i'm also going to create two files i'm going to create one called under underscore in dot pi and then uh, routes dot pi and then folders dot pi okay so for for me to be able to do this first of all i'm just going to go ahead and actually close my vs code for now and then i'm going to go into my terminal and actually open my vs code so you can also do this in the terminal but i'm just doing it in the uh, virtual uh, visual studio code so that you guys can uh, can be familiar with what i'm doing right because not everybody is com not everybody is comfortable using that terminal okay great so in here i'm going to create a folder i'm going to create uh, in here i'm going to create a uh, file called uh underscore underscore init and then the score dot uh pi so this is going to be our python uh python file our first python file and also we need to create another file called uh, routes.py and then form.py okay so let's go and actually create that so make sure i'm in my, I'm in my uh, applications and then i'm going to go into in here i'm going to create a folder sorry a file called uh routes.py so i'm going to create that and i'm also going to create one called um make sure this routes.py um okay this is an application it's not inside of templates so my bad so i'm just going to move it outside of that okay so we have that in the root directory so if i do this you can see in our applications uh applications uh in our applications folder you can see this is what we have in there okay so let me just close this for now okay just gonna be back in a second so i'm just going to navigate one directory back then i'm going to open up my vs code so we are we open up visual studio code in our root directory which is a root uh, project directory we have in the applications and then we have another folder called vnv so instead of applications we have templates and instead of templates we have underscore underscore in dot pi and then routes dot pi and which is the which is the, 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 the structure right here also we need to create another fold another file called forms.py okay so i'm just going to go in here and then uh, create another file another file called uh forms.py this we are going to keep all our python files great so now that we have that set up uh that's all we need for now and then inside of our root directory which is just going to be here i'm going to create a new file called uh, run.py 
and that's going to be uh, uh, where we're going to run our application so that's basically what we need to set up our project so in the next tutorial we'll go and for the next tutorial, begin to follow these steps and we we'll begin to build our application so we'll learn how to sign up to our mongodb cloud service and then how to grow how to create flask forms and all of that how to insert basically how to do the cloud functionality using flask api uh, flask and uh, mongodb okay so that's all for this tutorial so if you enjoyed this tutorial far and you're excited about this project kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be the first one to get notified whenever i upload the first video uh when we, are, when we actually get into the coding part of this series okay so guys thanks for watching uh give this video a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next one keep safe